For several years, I have been receiving letters from the earth. Now she urges me to share them with you. I believe they come deep from the heart of God, the nurturing energy in all of creation. A few years ago, I vacationed at my beloved Chautauqua of Lakeside, Ohio. The heat and agricultural runoff in late summer created algae blooms in Lake Erie, making it unsafe for swimming and water sports. I was heartbroken, staying away from the beautiful coastal walk until the final morning when I received this letter from the earth. Dear Nancy, I love you. I love the many delicate flowers you have photographed with my sunrise this morning. I love each person you interacted with this week. Do you understand that all of creation is an expression of my love and that you humans, my pinnacle, I call to love? I know you are very sad about my problems. I am too. And listen to the cacophony of earth voices clamoring to call the people to awaken, to act, to rescue, to save. You have heard my call. Thank you. Thank that husband of yours for his relentless efforts on my behalf. I know he has inspired you to do more. The best you can do is to affirm the earth care actions in others. Notice, praise, take delight. Be aware of the cacophony. Hear the multitudes. Don't despair. The earth will live again because of people like you and the Lakeside Environmental Stewardship Society, Les. Don't forget to always love and dance. I say dance. Love Gaia, your creator. You can listen again on Spreaker.com, read the letter on my webpage at spiritualseedlings.com, and follow me on my Facebook page at Nancy Flinchball Author to receive a new letter every Friday. And I encourage you to take time to listen to the earth today. You just never know what you might hear.